everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive because apparently it's Jurassic World Alive week today or well not today I guess this week or week and a half I should say because um we've had loads of new things come in and now we are approaching uh oh hold on sorry about that I have no idea what happened I'm glad I caught that I was like that looks a bit different to what I'm used to so yes we're approaching the end of the um, the season tournament thing that we've got going on. Uh, what does that mean? That means that we have, because we've, you know, spent £35 on the freaking premium season pass, we shouldn't have to. I suppose we could only spend 20 but come on. We have basically got the uh, the Mortem Rex skin. I think there's a Thordor skin as well. I will quickly just collect my little... Does anybody ever max this out? I have been playing this religiously, like, every day. I never get to this last incubator. I don't even know what's in it. That's aside. Hold on, let me dot Dimetrodon. Hey, Dimetrodon from Pri oh, no, Primal Dominion. It kind of looks similar. So they, it, it honestly feels like Jurassic World Alive or Ludia, the team, um, had quite close contacts and connections uh, with Universal when it came to this game. That's why they didn't put Giga in the game. It's why they didn't put Therizinosaurus in the game. But they did put Dimetrodon, um, it, probably because it's it's similar model to the one in Jurassic World the game, but the actual um, color scheme of the model isn't. However, it's very similar, in fact, if not the same, except for the model, uh, to the one we see in Dominion. And also similar to the one that was in Fallen Kingdom as well, because they kind of came out at the same time. So I think when it came to Jurassic World Alive, this game was like, yeah, we're, we're going to get everything we can right for it. So, how is said season pass going, you might ask? Well, let's have a look. So, we have new ones. So, we have retrieved DNA from 70 different creatures with the drone. Actually, I just realized that it doesn't mean 70 different types of creatures. Just 70 different creatures. Because I've been deliberately, like, darting stuff that I don't need. Like, uh, Draco Rex, for instance. Um, or... Well, actually, no, Draco Rex I do need. But stuff like Allosaurus and Thordor. Because, like, oh, well, that's that's one species checked off the list. But actually, it's only 70. So it's not so bad. So we're going to talk about things that uh, people have... Oh, so I've realized I have the, the window open as well. Well, doesn't matter. I, hopefully that doesn't change the audio sound too much. It might make it a little bit more reverby. I'm not too sure, but if we close that, it's going to get very dark in here. So I think we'll just, we'll stick with this episode. <laughs> um, right, so there's a couple of things that I think have maybe been changed to the season pass. So if you go into your, you know, your dailies or your monthlies or weeklies, whatever it is, you are able to switch them out. Now, I don't know whether it's one per or you can switch each one out once. Um, or just once per, you know, weekly and once uh, a month on that segment. Yes, so that did work. Okay, so uh, there's only one that's a little bit tough here, and that is win five raid battles. It's not really necessarily too tough, because you, if you've got a raid near you, like an easy one, like the, the tortoise I've got, I could just autofill, and I'm, I'd feel pretty confident that the people in there would probably be able to do that. I would not feel confident in an apex with autofill, but something like a rare, I, I, I would feel pretty confident with. Also, I'm going to try and make this mic... Because if I talk like this, it's completely different sounding to when I talk like this, right? So if I, if I actually sound professional, we could just give it like that, yes? <laughs> uh, so we'll definitely do the 110. Uh, the, we'll do the Retrieve 110 Epic DNA in drone mode. So what's good about this, um, I feel? We've had complaints, people saying that there's missions that you can't do. Well, you can refresh them. I don't know. You might get unlucky and get another mission you can't do. Um, but... I will say I had a real bugger of a mission that was dart or get 300 DNA or probably like a thousand. I don't know what it was. It was a lot. Get a thousand DNA from flock rare creatures through the drum. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? And I, I'm in a place where I don't get flocks um, or at least rare. I don't get Archaeopteryx or the other ones, Ramphorhynchus. Um, I think there might be a couple more, but luckily I had saved these incubators. I had an anniversary four and an anniversary three. Now each one gives you a chance of Comsog. Well, that one's Comsognathus Gen 2, and we are actually working towards the Compi Gen 2 hybrid. Uh, people in my alliance may have realized that normally I just request Gallimimus because everyone has Gallimimus. No one needs for anything. And it's just my way of giving free coin to the alliance. But I've been going for Compi Gen 2 because I think the hybrid is actually, uh, like people are sleeping on it. 
I think it's really good. Uh, since the last uh, tournament we had, the skill tournament, where if you swap out, it just attacks you and it just it, it moves really good. And this one, you've got the Rampharynchus and you've also got Archaeopteryx. So there's quite a high chance of like 22.22% as well as just having them in the other one, like, you know, maybe spawning them. Oh, look at that. Well, well, you know what? I didn't even know what I need for this. Oh, the one before. Never mind. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get a, one of these supply drops. So we need to get an epic dinosaur. So yes, the good news about this, or I feel anyway, is that, you know, if you can't do if you can't do certain missions, you can refresh them, and it's actually making me use my incense. We've been given like Rexy DNA for free. We had a 200 incubator, which is really good. Um, I kind of want to do a Dominion set. Now, the chances of us getting uh, an epic is very low. However, there is one of these scents that does guarantee an epic goat scent. Yes, you're guaranteed a T-Rex here, so we probably are going to pop that off just so I can get this T-Rex. and Hopefully it's not inside. There it is. I don't need it. However, we do need 110 DNA from this, and T-Rex is, is a pretty tricky one to dart. I remember one of my earliest videos when it came to Jurassic World Alive, um, there was an event where it was like, oh, you can dart Pyroraptor or you can dart T-Rex. And I said that actually don't dart the T-Rex because the DNA you get from the T-Rex is nothing in comparison from the DNA you'd get from Pyroraptor because the darting on Pyroraptor is so much easier. So I'm not too sure if that was true, but maybe they didn't want to spoil it. So that's why they didn't color it the way it was, but it was in there from the start Pyroraptor. So now we've done that. So we've completed 110 of that. We've got 55 of that getting us Oh, we did it, I think. Did we? <gasps> did we Did we do another one? Okay, so we have loads. So I have not opened any of these since. So we've got 50 Rexy DNA to get. Uh, another 50, so 100 Rexy DNA to get. Um, oh, we are, we are two off. Okay, so we'll definitely just... We just need one more. Just a little bit more. And then we've got like two extra Dominion cents. Uh, and then what I'm thinking, depending on how much it costs, because we got 34,000 bucks, we can just spend it and get through. Because really, who cares? <laughs> as long as we show the Emperor's skin, that'll get the views. It's all a bit meh. Maybe some of the rares are okay, but yeah, it's, it's all meh. We'll see what we get with this final one that clocks over. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it out to the, um, the Dominion scent. Because if we can get there is an Asaurus... I'll be pretty happy. I mean, there's a chance we could get Dreadnought. Oh, you know what? Yeah, sure. We'll dart this. We do need to dart dinosaurs anyway for the other mission, which will save us 500 bucks. So I'm kind of curious if you just wanted to max out the the pass, like the season pass right from the start, how many bucks that would take. I get the feeling that all of a sudden I'm going to get to the final two or three, maybe two, uh, levels that I need to get through in order to get the Mortem Rex skin. And it's all of a sudden going to cost me like a thousand bucks and then two thousand bucks. And there's 30 levels. It's probably 100 to 200 bucks ish to start with. So we do have a Dominion scent ready to go. So hopefully, I mean, what are the chances of us getting? Right, Therizinosaurus is 12.5%. I mean, we could get a Giga after that. It's very low. We could get another Thera. Dreadnoughtus would be nice, but I've got my fingers crossed. Come on, let's get a Thera. Let's get a friggin' Thera. Thera, please. <gasps> it's not so bad. It's not so bad. T-Rex Gen 2 isn't, isn't the worst thing in the world. And like I said, we need to dart these. So I'm kind of looking forward to this because I have been using Rexy in my team and I want to level it up and I want to put more boosts on it because at the moment it has like 3,600 to 900 health. And that basically means <laughs> that it gets one shot by a lot of things. Like, it, it can't take many hits. And I do actually manage to kill things. I killed an Indotaurus with, like, surviving. I think I put Rex out first, Indotaurus came out. Oh, we got another one. Now, I, I would love to do this, but I've just set off the send for Dominion. I can't do it. I'm so sorry. I got to decline that. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Uh, under normal circumstances, I would do it because it, it's going towards I need to complete raids. But so I do appreciate it. Ang Ryu, I think your name is. <laughs> I got somebody like really annoyed at me actually in my alliance. Um, I think it was Noob or something. Um, because apparently like he, he I, I forgot to thank him when I did a raid. And then like he ended up leaving and there was other reasons or something like that. I was like, calm down. <laughs> it's like the real reason why I left. It's like, oh, okay. I didn't realize. Okay, but fair enough. Um, I, I, you know, I think, yeah, Ang CW, I apologize. Now, I still face up against Paratops, and it still annoys me. 
when people swap it in, it does a massive amount of damage, and then it, it does, like, the instant heal, and then it just buggers off, so it can come in later. That is, it's the cheapest thing in the world, and I, I, I would love to, I'm sorry. I tried, and it was full. I apologize. <laughs> You'll see the video. <laughs> um, that still really annoys me, um, and I think the only way to counter stuff like that is to have dinosaurs that... Um, can only take a certain amount of damage. Because it doesn't matter if you've got a shield. It doesn't matter if you've got armor. It goes through it. Its icon doesn't show that it goes through armor. Although it says its icon doesn't show that it breaks a shield. Though it does. I don't think it was in the update. Maybe it was in the update. But Referantum now no longer stuns on its priority. So it does go through block. It does poison. It does reduce attack. But now it no longer uh, stuns. Even though... It has the stun in the icon. What? So, when it comes to this game, it's a bit tricky. <laughs> because sometimes the icons tell you what they do, and other times that they just don't. They just lie. Maybe Ludia wasn't expecting this to happen. Um, like, they were just fo gonna focus on all of the Dominion stuff. They were focusing on the Giga, they were focusing on, um, you know, the set, the sense, the new, di the new dinosaur launches. And then, all of a sudden, people are like, this thing's broken. This thing's broken. Why? Wh wh what's going on? And they're like, oh, they're scrabbling. So they're doing like little, little patches. So referendum doesn't do this done. I'm waiting for Paratops to be like nerfed. I'm waiting for it to happen because I feel like it's got to. It's just the fact that it, it heals when it gets hurt. It has an instant like greater heal, meaning that if it's blow half health, oh, it just heals all max health. Also, I kind of want to do something and show you what Giga does. Like swap in is so stupid. It's it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, so we're about to clock over to another Dominion. Uh, how many left do we need? We need six more. So we'll get, we'll, you know, we're getting there. The Atlas was about to disappear. Still got my fingers and toes crossed that we'll get that there is an Isaurus. But we'll see. And it is. And that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to mute you for now. I apologize. You can oh, no, I don't want to do that. No. Why can't I just, like, time out for, like, 10, 15 minutes? Why is it like, yeah, you're never seeing anything from them again? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Okay, right, we've darted them all, and now we should have the next one unlocked. Ooh, 55. <laughs> and really, if we wanted to, we could probably push it and do win five raid battles. However, um, I'm kind of okay. Uh, because now it's only, what, one, two, three, four things. And if it's only 500 each, that's 2,000 books, which is technically still a lot. But I'd rather just do that. Oh, right. So this is accumulating. So you can. Oh, interesting. So that's all the rewards I'll get. So 2,000 bucks. And boom, we have completed the Tyrant Pass at one hell of a cost in books and good lord, real money. Uh, so we'll collect that Rexy DNA. So it's an extra 50, taking us to 877. So we should get to level 23, I think. Um, I mean, we may as well collect the Thor. We are max, but you never know. Uniques sometimes are fused in order to make apexes. Uh, we've got Albertosaur again, quite a rare one. Uh, Alisaur, not so much, but we'll take it. I wonder how much extra DNA you get on top of what you could have. Uh, we've got a T-Rex as well, looking good, as well as a oh, Julius Caesar Rexy sort of badgie. Uh, another 50, are we gonna get a thousand? I think we're gonna get a thousand. 75, a T-Rex there as well. Now, because we don't have any Dominion incubators, we can get this as well, we can get the two. So 100 for a regular, and then, you know, 50 for the premium. So there, there is a bit of a difference. 75 for that, 150 for that. Sometimes you do get better rewards in comparison from the free, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really make sense. Not really. 1,077. So, so far, what I've tried to do is get as much Rex as I can in the game. Like, whether it's an incubator or whether it was, um, you know, a paid thing. I've done it, unfortunately. I just want to showcase Rexy, and I want to see how good it can be. And I'm sick and tired of having, you know, not being able to get the best. Unfortunately, this game is a pay to win. It kills me inside to have to do what the game requires me to do, which is spend real money in order to showcase something good. And there's nothing I can do about it. 
fucks. But finally, the almost eyeless Emperor Mortem Rex skin. Does this set a dangerous precedent? for Jurassic World Alive going forward? Yes, because pretty much it's like, oh, you want something really cool? You gotta pay up. In a way, there's a part of me that kind of just wants to stop playing because that should not be the way, you know, yes, the game's free. There's only so far you can get without spending any money. You can't tell me that someone is anywhere close to being the top player, anywhere close, and hasn't spent any money and has just played the game constantly. I don't believe it. Like, it, I mean, maybe there are. It's almost like a full-time job. Surely it has to feel like a full-time job. <laughs> you're on, you're playing the game for like six plus hours a day, right? It's got to be something like that. I, I would love to know if what that case is. Because I play this game every day. Maybe not as much as what maybe, you know, someone who just, that's their, that's their downtime after they work. They just play this game. Um, but I, I am curious. So here we go. So level 22 takes us to 4,000. Oh god, we just need to get, if we get over the 5,000 health, I'll be pretty happy. We won't be able to do it because oh, I'd love to know what a max health would have. Really would, but we're now 4,275. It takes us out of the danger area for anything that's going to do, like, you know, double damage and has 2,000 attack. Even 2,100 attack we're, we're pretty good with. The 45% chance to crit is amazing. Um, the fact that, you know, you can do a fierce strike on escape for them and you're probably going to get a crit and do even more damage. The fact that rending does nothing to you, damage over time does nothing to you, you cannot have your speed decreased, and you've got a good chance of uh, stun not even affecting you. Just Rexy is just so freaking good. I don't think I need to increase the, the speed anymore. The speed is all right. I am quite tempted to do some health just to get it over that 5,000. But again, it's only level 23. At level 30, it's probably going to have 6,000 health. And that is pretty good. Like for something that, you know, you want to attack with. Really, I just want to put all of my boosts into attack. So now we have 2037 attack. 4074 attack with the fierce devouring rampage, which is pretty baller. Skins! Yes, that's what we want to look at. So we've got the Emperor skin. So if we open up Mortem Rex, and we kind of need to showcase this, we just click that, and boom, there it is. Gorgeous looking. Look at now the eye looks so much better than it does in the picture. The way it's like it's almost glowing. That looks so good. Because otherwise you wouldn't see it because it's cast in shadow. But look at that modern Rex. That looks awesome. Uh we should really uh put the Thordor on, but we're not gonna use Thordor. Now Modern Rex is possibly usable in my team. Um it doesn't have its attack increase, which actually if I had kept the attack boosts on it, it would be a unit. Um <laughs> because you've got that priority roll, which is crazy. And then if you don't need to do that, you're probably going to survive a hit. Just go for the Fierce Rampage. This thing this thing would have done like over 6,000 damage. Mental. And it actually has 5% less chance to crit than a Rexy, which is it's also crazy. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll swap him in because we'll do some battles as well and just see if by any chance we can get Re a Mortem Rex and Rexy on a single team. Okay, I want to showcase what Giga does. I really do. Okay, so 483 there. It's on turn and 12. Come on, Giga. Let's see what you can do. Right. <laughs> this is so stupid. So it switches in. Alert, showdown. Rah! So it stuns it, heals itself, and then heals it. <laughs> it's, it's so weird. When would this ever come in handy? It's just like if your Giga gets below half health, it's basically useless. There's like no point in ever using this thing. I get what they were trying to do. You can't use this in high ups, like tournaments. Most things are immune to stun. So basically, even if you got this thing at level 30, you're probably never going to use it. There's probably never a reason to use Giga over anything else. Its devour heal thing is terrible. It heals an opponent if you swap in and you forget that it does that. So basically, once it goes, goes below half health, it has to stay in or else it's just never good. You, you can't use it. You've just wasted. You've given the opponent basically a free pass. Here we go. Do we get Rexy? Do we? Oh, we get Rexy. And not only do we get Rexy, we also get Mortem Rex. Now, really, we just want to showcase these. I don't care about winning this one. I mean, Rexy's got such pitiful health. Uh, we'll just put in a Mortem Rex straight away. We'll, we'll just show it. to. Oh, wow. That's actually a really good matchup. Oh, wow. That's, that's really not so great for him. <laughs> We could go for the roll and then just do a huge amount of damage next turn. 
Oh, we could do that and then Ooh, that won't kill him. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should have done that because then he'll priority. Probably should have done that. Yeah. Because um, I'm probably gonna die next turn. That was stupid. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna do his hostile glow and then he's gonna do his thingy majiggy, uh, like a instant thing, and that's gonna do 3,000 damage. So that was stupid because I could have went for that and then almost killed him. Nice one, Jay. So what do we do here? What, what's what's the interesting play here? We'll bring out Rexy. If we can get Rexy a kill. Yes, you get invincibility. Of course you do. But I'm going to slow you with my swap in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll just see how this goes. There's the slow. Okay, so now he's gotten... Oh, no. Yep, okay. So 50% resistance to the speed. That's fine. Uh, and then here comes the priority. That's what I was expecting. Alert instant shield. Now, do I get stunned? I don't, because I have a pretty decent resistance to it. 75%, yeah. Um, what I could do is go for that. Um, I may as well. May as well. We'll just do a big hit. You know, maybe we'll get lucky with a crit. Don't get lucky. Oh, this is... This was terrible plays by me. But at least we got to showcase Rexy and Mortem Rex. I think I've turned off things, so... Oh, no, have I? No, they were on. Never mind. He, d he doesn't even care. doesn't even care that I'm, like, trying to, like, be, look at these. He's like, I just want to win. I just want to win. Brilliant. Sweet. You're going to win. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's that's what you want to see. An 8888 Sonarosaurus. Bless him. It's still being used. I don't think it's even been nerfed. I think it's still up there. Maybe there's a better one. I think the Gorgo uh, hybrid is supposed to be a little bit better. Ooh, okay. We've got to swap out. Interesting. What's this going to be? Oh, he's bringing Ankylosaur Lux in. Okay, well, I guess. Yeah, sure, I suppose. You do get the stun. You do get the shield. Uh, I think you might die this turn, or is it still it's still invincible? Oh, okay, okay. Right, I see I see what he wants to do. He's just gonna stay in. He's gonna get his invincibilities off. He's gonna get the passive. Should we just skip this one? Yeah, we'll skip this one. We pretty much know how this is gonna go, and this guy's no fun. Oh, there you go. Actually, wasn't too bad. Three two loss. <laughs> pretty much two of my dinosaurs were just thrown in for show, really. Oh my god, I was so not expecting that. Okay, sure. How do we start this? Now, a lot of Indotaurus or Sonosaurus. Usually something tanky to start with. So, yeah, I think Scorpius Rex is generally a good one to start with. Ooh, Quest of Ryan's actually a really good counter. Yeah, really freaking good. I think it's not immune to stun, which is the one saving grace here that I might get a stun off. The bleed won't happen. But the stun does, so that's pretty decent. So no matter what happens here, um, he's either dead or he's something else has taken a big hit if it doesn't have an instant invincibility. Um, if it's referentum, it's going to take a fair... Oh, okay, it's dead! <gasps> Guys, we're in good stead. We're in friggin' good stead to get a Rexy win. Uh, it's happened a couple of times, and it's always surprised me when it has. <laughs> But we're two levels higher now. Oh, if, if I can get rid of this thing, I, I think we're in the clear. So, yeah, he's definitely going to go for, like... What is, what is it? Just the instant. He's He's got to. He's got to go for the instant. Yeah, if he didn't, I would have done that. So, yeah, fair enough. So now he's got, you know, uh, maybe a sidestep. Um, and... Oh, it's tricky. Let me think. Let me think. Against my better judgment, I'm going to go for Indotaurus. I, I, it could have been good, but if I was already one move into Megalania's, you know, uh, or whatever it's called, his moveset, then I would have switched him in. Um, but uh, the, the devastating is just too low. We have to go for this. He's probably going to go for his sidestep, I think, just because you want that crit. Or not. Okay, this... Okay, I don't know whether he's... he's yeah, he's throwing it. <laughs> he's like, don't care. I'm lost. Because I was going to say, even if you go for your big hit... Oh, oh, oh. I think he's really giving up now. I mean, I was hoping to just finish that. I really was hoping to finish that. Because at least then, my Rexy has a good chance of, uh, of being able to have the win screen at the end. That's all I want. I want the kill, and I want the win screen. It is doable. I have done it. I just want to do it on video. Oh, God. Taking down oh, God. God. Well, then. I mean, please don't put Forex in now. Don't do it. 
I, I just want, I put something else in, please. I, has he, has he quit? I, hello? Hello? Hello, 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 anyone? Where are you? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, all right. So I, oh, I can't really swap out now. Ah. Yeah, he's okay. So he's given up now. So basically all he's going to be doing is going for instant nullifying strike. So even if I swap, I think he, yeah, he heals 1,700. So he does resist this. Okay. This isn't the victory I was really wanting. <laughs> this, this wasn't my I will win moment. Um, because I think, I, th I don't think it's, it's going very well for me, actually. Um... I, I'm, I'm really trying to think of a way that I can get Rexy in that doesn't end up killing Rexy. But the thing is... I'm just going to have to swap. I'm going to have to swap here. I'm going to give him... Yeah, take the hit. I feel like I might end up throwing the match just by doing this. <laughs> like, Megalane has to come in. Because um, I don't want to hit it. I can't hit it. Because if I hit it... Then he's going to get an increase in attack. And he's already got one increase. So now I'm going to just go for my dig in here. And now then I'll swap out. And then he'll lose his attack increase. And then Rexy can win. Oh, finally. <laughs> I just had to make the guy rage quit first. <laughs> you went, lock screen. Nah, not doing that. Back to work. <laughs> I, I, I feel it, man. I feel it. We've all been there. When it just hasn't went your way and you're like, really? You're going to do this to me? Am I, I have an hour for lunch break and you're going to do this to me? Cool. <laughs> right, Rexy can come in now. I don't, I, I still don't think we're going to win. Um, because it, it increases its t attack just for two turns. I thought we'd already had the two turns. But no, apparently, in oh, sorry. When I switch out, I give it, I think. Is it? No, that's just when it's a passive thing. Okay, so in comes Rexy, who's going to take the nullifying big hit. Oh, we slow him. Ooh, okay, so maybe it's not so bad. We are going to be quicker. We do get to go for 3,055 attack. Um, now, this is going to do a lot of damage. <gasps> oh, I don't think we're going to do it, though, unless we can get a crit. Unless we can get a crit. Please, please get a crit. Please, if I don't get the crit, he's dead. Come on, Rexy. I've worked. This is the perfect moment. This is your time to shine. I know. He's, he's back? I just got played. Just got played. You bugger. You bugger you. You were sat there. Oh my god, this guy's just been sat there. I just wanted to win with Rexy. You ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Why? I just wanted Rexy to win. And this guy brought... He must have locked his screen and waited for what he thought the battle was, you know, when it was going to end. And he came back on and was like, this is still going. All right, Fabled Fangs. <laughs> you bugger you. I don't believe it. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Right, I might as well just go for this. He, he can't kill me. Yes, you go for it. Right, now die. Now die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty... You, you could see exactly what happened. He went, eh. Rage quit. And then went, is it done yet? Wait, it's not done. And then I still make him lose. Like, eh. <laughs> I still made him look at the lose screen. <laughs> Take that, Florida. <laughs> oh, God. Well, anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, I don't know when we'll be back, actually. Maybe if more Rexy comes out. But honestly, even with buying literally everything for Rexy that's came out, we only have it level 23. Maybe if you got better darts, you could have got it to 24. But still, at that level, it's just... It just doesn't have the health to quite get there. Um, I mean, like I said, level 30, it does. It'll be amazing. But we'll see we'll see hopefully more microtransactions yeah if you enjoyed this video leave a like and until next time i'll see you cuties later oh bye bye